Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, this interview experience is brought to you by Utkashni Editor. And today we have uh, Roshan. Uh, welcome to the series, Roshan. So, Hi, Neha. Uh, yeah, so can we begin with your brief introduction for the audience? Hey, uh, hey everyone. Uh, my name is Roshan. I'm currently a fourth year student studying computer science. So uh, I'm, I'm in the Bangalore. Okay. And uh, could you share the company you were placed and tell us about your job profile? Yeah. Uh, so I'm placed at Akamai Technologies. So Akamai Technologies is uh, known to be a global leader in, um, in terms of content delivery networks. So um, where we deliver uh, web content and media. And we also work on um, cloud solutions like cybersecurity and other uh, cloud solutions. So coming to my role, I'm actually a software development engineer at, at the Bangalore office. So I work at, with the adaptive acceleration team, which basically um, works on speeding up uh, the load times of web pages. And this is done by reducing network latency. So basically uh, we have um, lots of uh, caching servers distributed geographically around the world. And uh, these, uh, the closest servers serve you contents of uh, websites. So, and speeding up load times. Okay, so that's great. Uh, in a gist, could you tell us about the overall structure of the placement process? All right, we come for placements sometime during uh, seventh sem, right? But uh, in this case, Actually, Akamai uh, visited campus uh, in fifth sem itself. So they were looking for summer interns. So what would happen is uh, based on your performance during the summer internship, they would offer you a full-time uh, role through a PPO. That's a pre-placement offer. So this is how um, I got placed at Akamai. Okay. So how many rounds of interview you had and what was your interview experience like? All right, so the hiring process is the same as other companies. Uh, we have a first a written round uh, and then followed by a technical round with interviewers, then the managerial round, and finally the HR round. So um, yeah, first off, starting off, it was the written coding round. Basically, uh, there were three uh, coding questions, uh, one easy question on arrays and um, two medium difficulty questions on um, strings and uh, hashing. So yeah, um, that was pretty straightforward and simple and it was on HackerRank. Um, next, the next day, um, it, it was the coders, um, the toughest round. Um, so uh, they were, um, I, it was an interview with engineers at Akamai. Mm -hmm. And um, so yeah, they were in here, uh, there were basically uh, three coding questions. One was on um, arrays again, uh, and then, um, then it was on strings and um, sub uh, strings and uh, hashing related, and finally um, there was uh, the dynamic programming, which was the maximum subarray question. Okay, and yeah, uh, so yeah, yeah, go on. Right, yeah. Uh, so yeah, it was actually split into two parts. First was the coding round, and this um, it was all right. Uh, it was then followed by um, the theoretical round, where the, we were asked questions on. Um, uh, computer science uh, related uh, questions like uh, on operating systems and computer networks. So usually uh, most companies don't ask questions on computer networks, but since Akamai, uh, a lot of work is focused uh, on computer network related um, solutions. So that was also included. So there were lots of questions on um, like for say in operating system, it was like um, semaphores, mutex, synchronization, uh, multi-threading, uh, paging, virtual me memory and all of that. Uh, in computer networks, we had like the complete TCP IP network stack, uh, right. DNS, how HTTPS works, uh, uh, concepts related to um, IP address and MAC address and how they work and all that. And then finally, uh, the last section was on um, DBMS. So actually, uh, I was not too comfortable with this. Um, so I, I was pretty clear and I clearly told them that uh, I didn't know much about that. And they were chill with that. The, uh, so they said, uh, um, pick any other uh, topic which you could um, uh, you're comfortable with so um, so they gave me a bunch of options and from that I picked JavaScript since I had experience with that I'd worked in internships and all that mm -hmm. and so they asked a few questions of that and I answered those and that was the end of the 
uh, okay. coding round. Okay. And uh, what was the most challenging round for you? Yeah, so it was this coding round uh, okay. right now. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. So. Uh, so. No, actually, uh, we had the. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So uh, after that was the managerial round. So. And that's where uh, we had a senior and manager with like 20 years of experience of uh, going through my resume and asking me about it. So basically all the projects I'd worked on, the my hobbies, my passions, and also like the internships I'd worked on. So we went over that in detail. And I think this was the best round. And finally, the HR round was pretty short, uh, quick five, 10 minute thing uh, just for my background and my interest and what um, if I'm a fit for the company and why I would want to work here. So, yeah. Okay. So could you tell us about your coding round? You know, how did you prepare for it? Right. So actually, Simon, I was um, quite unprepared at that time. So I had to um, quickly go through a lot of um, frequently asked questions on uh, Geeks for Geeks. So I think um, there's a page called like must do coding questions for interviews. So, uh, which has about um, 10 to 15 questions on each topic, like arrays, uh, dynamic programming, all of that. So I quickly went through all of that and also brushed up my data structures and algorithms uh, from all the courses which I'd taken in university mm -hmm. and also quickly revised um, operating systems, computer networks, and uh, Linux-related topics as well. So, okay. Uh, so is it necessary for a person to know competitive programming or uh, can regular programming get them through in the industry? So, yeah, I don't think competitive programming. Uh, sure, um, there's like a slight overlap between the two, but usually competitive programming, um, it there's a lot more complexity involved, like the questions are, way, are much more difficult. Mm -hmm. um, in interviews, it, they're easier and um it focuses mostly on like taking um, real world um, uh, problems. And then, uh, so the interviewers want to see how you can break down those uh, real world problems into um, or like in serious terms and like, under, uh, uh, like identify the underlying data structure. You communicate your thought process on how you solve them. So yeah, you, you don't need to know competitive programming, but I think it would, it would definitely be a plus if you do like, because um, if you can solve those, it, interviews would probably get pretty easy for you. Right, that's true. So how important are the GPA projects and internships? Please uh, share some tips on them from your, from your experience. Yeah. So, yeah, I definitely think uh, both like working on projects and um, internships is very important because you get to like uh, apply all the skills which you've learned in class on real world um, that's where you uh, gain a lot of experience. You learn uh, how uh, how to build like large complex applications as you would as a uh, software developer in the industry. So like especially many projects and stuff, um, try to explore um, lots of different categories in uh, computer science, so like web development, um, like creating or uh, building mobile apps, uh, ML, AI, all of that. And um, internships also is pretty essential. Um, because like during your summer time and all that, uh, you get time off. So you can work with um, small startups and then really see how uh, like uh, experienced developers think and uh, learn from them, how they build projects. And you can uh, also like contribute as well. So there's a lot of learning, which definitely helps for interviews. Okay. Okay. So could you leave a few words of advice or any suggestions for the juniors? Yeah, uh, so one thing I think is um, like most people um, uh, tend to start too late uh, preparing for placements, like because uh, like college time goes about like pretty fast and you never realize it. So I think um, the earlier you start is um, the better it is for um, getting placed. Mm -hmm. So like right in your second year itself, um, like go, go on Geeks for Geeks as you're learning data structures, algorithms in uh, the courses in university. Um, say solve like two through three problems every day on Geeks for Geeks or like lead code as well. Mm -hmm. And like slowly, like even just working on one or two problems a day will um, help you a lot in the future. And like, cause towards the end, if you start too late, you'll have to cram like 10, 20 questions a day. And it gets really um, 
kind of tiring and and you get pretty uh, anxious as well so yeah definitely start off as early as possible okay totally agreed and what were the primary resources you follow for preparation you know apart from the technical uh, coding and all of that like uh, non technical aspects such as uh, logical reasoning or aptitude right so um so as far as i know in most tier 1 companies these days um they ask little or absolutely no uh, like logical or aptitude related stuff so i didn't uh, prepare much in that regard mm-hmm. so like for um the typical uh, mathematics related questions um you know uh, like simple uh, profit loss compound interest uh, like uh, you know simultaneous equations those kind of questions you can just go through your your 10th grade math textbook like rd sharma or whatever uh, mm-hmm. definitely helps covers all the concepts so you need for that and uh, yeah yeah so logic reasoning all that comes from uh, that is all that's all yeah okay so finally any suggestions for the students uh, who want to sit for placements in the coming week okay um yeah so i think most students would have like uh, prepared and be brushed up with all the topics so i think the advice would be like uh, during the interview process i think um, most uh, students like uh, what we communicate with the interviewer like clearly uh, like constantly talk to them uh, share your thoughts and like but, but even while like uh, solving um, your questions clearly break down what you're doing and what is uh, it that you're trying to achieve if you have doubts you can always ask them um, and if you need time to think up a question say that like clearly tell that and take some time to think about it and even if you're not too familiar with something you can clearly tell them about it so yeah definitely like try to uh, share your thoughts with your interviews at all times okay okay that that's great So I think we're in the end. Uh, thank you so much, Roshan, for sharing your experiences and learning with us. Uh, I think that's the end. Uh, thank you. Thanks, Neha. Uh, I hope everyone got to learn something from this.